I've been using Aura Ring's new sleep staging algorithm for about a month now, and what I've found has been quite impressive. Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com. Just a short video. So about a month ago, within the Aura Ring app, it said there was a new uh, sleep algorithm that was in beta testing or beta testing, uh, and you could participate in that testing if you wanted to or, or not. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Um, let's give it a go. So within the app, it says that this new sleep staging beta is based on state-of-the-art algorithm that has been created and verified in collaboration with several research institutes. Uh, the enhanced sensitivity will match or is sleep staging with sleep lab accuracy. Your sleep score, its contributors, and the related insight messages will continue to use the, the, old, the current algorithm for now. So when you go into the app, if you're in the beta testing, uh, you go into your sleep, you scroll down to your sleep, so this is data for last week, Saturday the 21st, and you'll see here, uh, you've actually got a toggle switch that you can enable or disable uh, to see the new algorithm or see the old, the current one. So what we have here, six hours, 24 minutes sleep, that is based on the old one. Now, I've, I've been a long time user with Aura Ring. I was on their Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign many, many years ago. Um, you know, I've done lots of reviews. So quite familiar with the sleep data, the sleep tracking. I continue to use my Aura Ring for the readiness data, the HRV, body temperature, heart rate, and I do like seeing my sleep data as well. I've always known that the sleep data tracking isn't super accurate. Like it'll often say you're, you're awake three times or four times, and I'm like, no, I wasn't, or vice versa. But still overall, it's given me a pretty good gauge of how well I slept. One thing I've always noticed though is my deep sleep scores are very, very high. So let's look at this example, Friday the 20th of January. Uh, remember this is showing the old generation, the, the non beta testing mode. Uh, it shows that I woke one, two, three, four, five, six, six times in my night. And you can see that movement data down there. There were two big wakings, probably when I got up and used the bathroom or checked on my boy. Um, and then beneath that, you're seeing that I slept for three hours and seven minutes in deep sleep, which is 49%, which is crazy. I mean, people have often said, wow, like when they see my screenshots, they're like, wow, that's a lot of deep sleep. My REM's always been really low as well. So like 9%. Um, if you scroll back a few nights, so let's look at some of this data the night before. What's that? Six wakings, 35% deep sleep. The night before that, again, multiple wakings, 43 deep sleep, 39 deep sleep. See all those wakings. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a young family with kids and there are multiple wakings in a night, but I've always known that that's not correct or I'm waking up and quickly falling back asleep and not aware of it, but typically I wake up feeling pretty good. So I didn't think that was the case. When this new sleep staging algorithm came in, I was like, hey, let's see what happens. So it's pretty neat. The ordering score is still based on the old data, right? The new data that we're going to see very soon is just for personal use, I guess, to show what, what the new algorithm would put out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and show you the difference that it makes. Now, I can't actually remember last Sunday night's sleep, but pretty much most days when I look at my sleep score, I always think that the beta testing, the new algorithm is a lot more accurate. At least that lines up with what I thought happened during the night. So let's look at this night, Sunday, the 15th of Jan. Here we go. We had previously had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight or nine wakings, 45% deep sleep. Most people would see that and think horrible night. And I have had some horrible nights, but you know, that looks really bad. And that's with eight and a half hours in bed, all right? Eight and a half hours sleep duration. So what I'm going to do now is toggle on that switch. Boom. And you can see how that changed. Okay. So it's taken me from six hours, 52 minutes to seven hours, 36 minutes. So that's 40 minutes extra sleep. And you'll also notice that my wakings have gone from eight or nine to one, two, three, four, there are uh, still not ideal. And I, like I said, I, there has been a few nights recently where I have woken a lot. We've been away on holiday and, you know, different beds and sharing beds and sharing rooms with the kids and whatnot. Um, so that's probably legit. But the other thing is you look at that deep score. So previously it was three hours and 45% with the new algorithm, one hour 52 and 25%, which is a lot more realistic. Let's look at another night. So we'll go to Monday. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wakings, 41% deep sleep. Turn that on. Straight away, we're nearly seeing an extra hour of sleep. Um, six and a half to seven and a quarter. And the wakings have gone down to one, two, three, four wakings. Deep sleep has dropped from 
41% to 23%. Let's look at another night. So algorithm is the old one, better mode is off. One, two, three, four weekends, 39% deep sleep, six and a half hours total sleep. Turn it on, it adds nearly half an hour of deep sleep, only two weekends, and sorry, it adds nearly half an hour of total sleep, there's only two weekends, and the deep sleep is down to 28% from 39%. So you, the pattern is quite clear here, right? Algorithm off, algorithm on. It's it's saying on, pretty much it's saying three things with the new algorithm. It's saying I'm waking less, which is what I agree with. Let's quickly leave the algorithm off and scroll through some of these nights. Look at all those wakings, those white points. Look at them. Multiple wakings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like there's tons of them, right? Most people, if you're waking that many times, you're going to feel like absolute death in the morning. You wake up and you're like, oh my God, I woke 10 times last night. My wife that, you know, with our newborn, that's what would happen. And she was literally like death most days. It's very rare that I've been waking up feeling like death and I haven't needed uh, naps very often as well, despite ordering, saying I'm waking nine, 10 times a night. Turn the algorithm on and let's scroll through some of these nights. Um, three, four wakings, two wakings, four wakings, two wakings, three wakings two wakings, three wakings, four wakings, right? So it's a lot less wakings. And remember, we've just been away staying at our family batch, you know, had the, the kids in the same room. There has been more wakings than general, but the difference between algorithm on, algorithm off is a lot. And remember, I align more with the new algorithm in terms of what I, I feel and what I think happens. The other thing is total sleep. Let's look at some of these numbers. So I'm just going to scroll through without, with the old, Generation algorithm, 650, 624, 630, 638, 610, 624, seven hours. So that was the first seven hours. That was the first reading above seven hours on the old algorithm. So now we're going to turn on the new better mode. 30 minutes extra, seven hours, 640, 6, 714, nearly seven hours, 720. So pretty much you're seeing a lot more sleep again that's what i think i'm pretty well in tune with my body and uh, i know i struggle on less than seven hours sleep like i'm miserable i haven't had that many miserable days where i need a nap uh recently so i align with the new data thirdly we're going to look at the deep sleep so look at the data down the bottom there deep sleep um we're going to turn it off first so let's look at some of these modes 40 percent 29 40 40 34 36 36 33 now we're going to turn that on 19 23 27 22 25 20 so there is a big change there now that change is actually a negative change it's saying i've, I've got less deep sleep less restoration restorative sleep but what's happening is i'm getting credited for a lot more REM sleep whereas previously there was hardly any REM sleep like nine percent twelve percent nine percent little numbers turn this on and we're getting more REM less deep and I think that's true. Like I dream, I think I get pretty good sleep. Like it's not like I'm out and then in a real light sleep. Like I've had all sorts of sleep over the years. You know, I know when you get really light sleep where you're waking all the time and you're just, you know, not getting that deep restorative sleep. I know that's not the case for me recently. And it's why I think this new algorithm is a lot more accurate. I mean, it's recording more of my sleep, typically half an hour more. It's saying I'm waking less. It's saying like I'm getting less deep sleep because 40 to 50% deep sleep is just, it's unheard of. And it's saying I'm getting more REM sleep. So yeah, I think the new algorithm that Aura Ring are working on is going to see some massive improvements uh, to accuracy of the Aura Ring. I know a lot of people like the Aura Ring, but have always said, hey, look, the sleep's a bit off. There's no way I woke that many times or I did wake and it didn't record it. So I think this new change is, is really positive. Now, what's going to be really interesting is... Oring is still using the old data. They haven't impl implemented this new algorithm. They're still using the old one in their calculations. If and when they switch over to the new one, and I hope they do, it's going to mean your readiness scores are going to go up. Well, for me, well, actually, no. I was going to say my readiness scores are going to go up big time. But no, that's, I don't know how they formulate it. They may put a lot of weight into deep sleep and less to total sleep. So actually, I might see a drop in readiness. I'm not too sure. But it will be interesting to see how they implement um, the changeover and if they do implement it at all. One final thing I need to show you, when you go back to the um, sleep stage, sleep mode, you can hit that um, little eye for information 
And again, it will tell you a bit about it. And you can also give feedback, which I've just done. It opens up a Google form and you answer some questions. So awake, uh, 50 minutes versus an hour and a half. REM, one hour versus 34 minutes. Light sleep, uh, four hours versus two and three quarters. Deep sleep, one and three quarters versus three hours. So you can see it's quite a big change. So um, look, or I think you're onto a winner here. My experience aligns a lot better with the new algorithm. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see if you do launch this for people that have been hesitant or have heard about this new feature and wanted to know a bit more about it hopefully this video has helped and um hey look if you're using this new algorithm what do you notice what do you think does it align a lot better with your experiences i'd love to hear your thoughts leave them below be sure to subscribe i'll have more content on smart rings red light therapy saunas and other gizmos and gadgets coming out on this channel in 2023 and beyond so be sure to hang around for that all right guys bye